Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're on it. We're coming to you live from, well, wherever you are. I'm, I'm Scott Sandell. I'll be your faithful guide here, taking you to the edge and beyond. So hang on, here we go. First timers, hit this one here. Vets, you already know what to do. Don't look back. Go, 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 go. See that tomato? Select that when you want out. It'll take you back to where you want to go. Gas pedal? I mean, what do you think, man? Boom! Choose this to speed up the information segments and to bypass the audio and video segments. Spray paint can? What? You can be a graffiti artist too. Check it out. Flare gun. Pow! Select this for help, okay? And select the plug to pull the plug and exit the program. And select that globe, go back to the start, and choose another sport. Time to name your poison. We got cheap thrills here. Nine, count them, nine of them. We've got bungee jumping, mountain biking, rock climbing. Whoa, that one scares me a little bit. We got skateboarding, skiing, kayaking, skydiving. For those of you who like the idea of jumping out of a perfectly good airplane, and we've got surfing and board sailing. For those of you who like jumping off the edge of a continent, and, 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 oh, dig this. You gotta go for Mondo Rock. I mean, it's a game where you go up some rock climbing, up some vert terrain against impossible odds. I mean, hang on for the time of your life, kid, the time of your life. Gravity's got a one-way elevator waiting for you, dude, and it's going down. Take the plunge. I know, I know. You don't think it takes much training just to go jump off a bridge, right? I mean, how do you practice jumping off a bridge? What more do you need to know than how to close your eyes? I mean, as headers a header, right? Wrong! It's time to find out why. Select now. With the two harnessed waist jump, your bungee lifeline looks like an elastic umbilical cord. Here, the most important thing to remember is over-rotate at the bottom of your dive. If you don't, the line will snap roll you over like a puppet on a string. It's a good way to get a face full of bungee. With a mid-body front harness, your best dives will leave you belly up. The first of these crazy ankle jumps was probably an accident, but before long they were the rage, especially in New Zealand. Using precise mathematics, the idea is to give yourself just the right amount of stretch so you actually plunge into the water just as the recoil yanks you back into the air. Bring in your calculators and slide rules for this one. Now there's more to this than just gravity. With the ankle jump, you gotta make sure you bail head first and well clear of the platform. A swan dive or a nice one and a half will do. On the way down, relax and make like a carpenter's plumb bob, loading the bungee for maximum ricochet. During recoil, be sure to keep your hands off the cords. Most of all, enjoy the ride. It's human yo-yo time, and recoil is what it's all about. At the top of each bounce, you become weightless just before you fall again. And if you plan it right, all kinds of gymnastics are possible. The most important thing to remember is to keep the bungee to your side to avoid tangling up in it. With practice and timing, this is how to make the most of your jump. All good things must come to an end, and there are only two ways to end a bungee jump, by getting down or getting up. Getting down involves being lowered to a boat or safely to the ground. Getting up is a little more hairy. It means having a line drop down to you which you hook to your harness with a carabiner. Then, the rest of the crew hauls you up like a sack of potatoes. Look around, check out all the gear, man. This thing is the ultimate rubber band. Okay, 
This is all the hardware that connects your harness to the jump structure. The anchor point of steel cable, the carabiners, strong aluminum snap links, and the bungee link of three to six cords. Each item in this chain is tested strong enough to withstand 5,000 pounds. A jumper achieves three G's of force, which amounts to 600 pounds of force for a 200 pound bungee jumper. And as if that wasn't safe enough, there's even a padded bumper on the cords to protect against abrasions and entanglement. Ankle jumps are the only way to fly if you're a New Zealand bridge jumper or just a head dunking maniac. These ankle straps, when backed up with a seat harness, are a huge safety improvement over binding legs in a towel and some climber's webbing as some bungee pioneers used to do. This is the mil-spec bungee cord. It was designed for the military who used such cords to attach jeeps and tanks to parachutes. The bungee cord is an elastic rope of sorts with a rubber core made up of hundreds of individual bands and a cotton inner braid shell. Not your average rubber band, believe me. These babies can hold thousands of pounds and will stretch to twice their original length. If this looks like a lot to wear, it is, and there's a reason. Bungee jump seat and chest harnesses evenly distribute your weight for a smooth deceleration at the end of the cords. When the two harnesses are hooked to the set of bungees, the end result is a lifeline that extends from your mid-torso, your center of gravity. Bungee jumping started a long time before this early jump. Actually, it was a couple of centuries ago down in the New Hebrides Islands. Legend says this guy caught his wife cheating on him. So he chases her up this big tree and started climbing up after her. Well, when she got to the top, she just tied some vines to her ankles and jumped. Well, he's so mad at her, he jumps after her. Except he forgot the vines. Go figure. Smart lady, dead dude. Ever since then, the islanders have held an annual ceremony where they bail off these towers with vines around their ankles. They claim is to remind themselves of how smart women are. See? So today's bungee jumping is just a modern approach to an old rite of passage. Okay, okay, you guessed it. Bungee jumping is not without risks. Okay, we've got some hairy action for you here. So little chance for you to see what you're getting yourself into. Get in the primal scream here, man. Get smart. Get into it. X marks the spot. The temperature will affect the stretch of your bungee. The wind will affect the flight of your fall. Rain will make your jump off spot slippery and weigh down the equipment. And that's just to name a few. Remember that bungee jumping involves precise calculations. Remember that weather is a part of that. Before you look down, look up. And make sure the time is right. What goes down must come up. Recoil. There's more than you might think to being a human yo-yo. Most people's natural reaction is to grab for the rope, but this is a big no-no, causing injuries that run from small bungee burns to broken noses and busted legs. So stay cool, stay in control, avoid the bungee and enjoy the ride. Believe it or not, there's some mathematics involved here. Grab your calculators and think about this. To plan a head dip, you gotta factor in things like weight, distance, number of cords, elasticity, even the temperature and humidity. Like any high dive, water entry is everything. One wrong move here and you got serious problems. Jump smart, do your homework. Fear, pure and raw. Your whole body is screaming at you not to do this, and yet you do. Fear is going to be along for the ride, just don't let it take the wheel. One sure way to get hurt is to panic mid-leap and flail for the bridge. A weak knee jump can mean a full body whip. Grabbing the bungee will mean rope burn. So keep your head. At a time like this, you don't want to be worried about your gear. Although the chances of equipment failure are practically non-existent for the bungee jumper, special attention should be given to what they call parallel redundancy. Every piece should have a backup component. Inspect them too. A nick in the bungee can cause a snapped cord and that's the last thing you want at a time like this.
Bungee jumping takes a lot more than you would think. You got to be fit. You got to be safe. Most of all, you got to know how to control your fear. And that takes a lot of grace under pressure. Check out the stats. Hey, Jed, do you think that now you're going to have problems with the French police? No, I don't think so. I think they're really quite reasonable people. And um, I'm sure they'll see it as uh, an inspiration for, for the people of Paris and France and the world. That's the real rush, is just getting up there and knowing how fearful it is. I mean, that's what makes it extreme. That's what makes it an extreme sport. Just getting ready, preparing all you can. You do everything right, you do it safe, but man, every jump there's fear. I don't care what anyone says. Even, even, even the most experienced can't do one jump without any fear. Once you're just flying, it's, it's those few moments of, of weightlessness, of, of, of you know, not feeling the effects of gravity, I guess. I guess it's because you spend all your life just chained to the, you know, the ground. Those few moments just, it's an incredible feeling. Yeah, time to take a header, time to fly. Think about it, you've arrived at the moment of truth. Have you got what it takes to survive jumping off a bridge with nothing but a rubber band around your ankles? It's going to be up to you to decide what happens from here on out. You're about to go jump off a bridge. Are you ready? Feel that adrenaline pumping? The first step is the longest. Airborne, gotta be a rush. Bird's eye view of a fallen rock. You can see the river below coming up. Think fast. Time to fly now. A couple of ways to do it. What'll it be? Recoil. Some say it can be better than the fall. I'll say it's half the fun, so hit it. Trapeze artist without a net. Elevator's going down again. What's your move? Alright, you've done that. Now there's a little something we call recoil. Going up. Oh. 
time enough for another jump. Maybe a little freestyle this time. Express yourself. You're a pro now. Okay, your buddy's gonna join you for this next jump. Give it a shot. Terminal velocity, your mind's telling you you're going in and all of a sudden you feel that life-saving tug on your ankles and you know everything's gonna be alright. It's time to play. Last chance for recoil madness. Think of something radical and then do it. Knock yourself out. <laughs> now, you'll know how to answer someone that tells you to go jump off a bridge. You belong to an elite group of human yo-yo. Some crazy title, huh? But what a rush. See you next time. So what are you waiting for? Come on, man. Edge it. Take the shot. Do something. Because this thing is getting heavy.